Hi everyone and welcome to our guides online this lovely Tuesday afternoon. We hope you all survived the storm. So you've got kangaroo and bandicoot with you this afternoon. So we'll just give a couple more minutes or a couple more seconds for people to come on in. There's already 30 of, 32 of you dropping in. Don't forget to let us know your name and where you're from. Bandicoot and I love to know what units are here today with us. Oh, I'm seeing a couple of names that we've seen before. It's lovely to have you all back. Hello, Melly. Hello, Phoebe. Nice to see you. Well, I can't see you, but nice that you're here. And Piper on Cinnamon. Lots of people. Oh, Liza, welcome. This is your first time online. Welcome. We hope you enjoy our online meeting. Violet. Now, um, there's something we have to tell them, Kanga, about when they chat so that other people can see it and not just the panellists. That's right. So it's all attendees. I think we need you to have open so everyone can see your chat. Even Kanga needs to change hers. So all panelists and all attendees, so we can all have a look, uh, all see what you're having a chat about. So I think we'll make a start. Um, okay, we've got lots already online. So for those that have joined us before, um, we have started a little bit of tradition, Bandicoot and I, and when it's our turn to do our guides online, we like to open our meetings with a song. We know that lots of you are from different units and have different openings. So we've decided that make new friends is a great way to open our meetings. So if you'd like to join with us, we sing the first verse and the second verse. So one, two, three. Make new friends, but keep the old. One is silver and the other gold. A circle's round, it has no end. That's how long I'm going to be your friend. Well done, I hope I heard lots and lots of voices. The second thing that we're going to do a little bit different today, uh, I know some of you are back to school now, but you might have heard that this week is Reconciliation Week. So we would like to open our meeting today with an acknowledgement of country. So Girl Guides WA acknowledges and pays respect to past, present and future traditional custodians and elders of this nation and the continuation of cultural, spiritual and educational practices of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders. So thank you girls. So I'm sure that you'll be learning a little bit more about that at school as the week goes on. So for those that don't know, our theme today is about service. Um, Bandicoot and I were thinking about oh, what could we do for this meeting? And we know that you've heard about lots of the essential workers that have helped us out during the time that we needed them during the virus. So we thought there might be one essential service and the workers that we might not have thought about. So Bandicoot and I thought today that we would learn about the garbage men because we certainly can't do without them. They came every day, every week during the time that we were in lockdown and they took away our rubbish, which meant that we kept nice and safe and we didn't get any more diseases. So we're in a very lucky country where we do have some, uh, someone come and the local council looks after our rubbish and make sure it's um, away and somewhere um, our rat, not at our house. But it also means that we get to look at recycling, reusing and reducing so we don't put as much rubbish in those bins. So that's what we're going to be looking at at our online meeting today. So Bandicoot's got a great game, a Kim's game that she's going to do with you. Then I thought we would all take a little bit of time and make a post of local councils just to say thank you for the work that they've done for us because sometimes we know that they're there because our rubbish bins are empty we might not often see them because they come when we're at school or at work but we certainly know if they don't come the, the rubbish pile will just get bigger and bigger and bigger 
So that's what we're doing today. So it's going to be a great meeting. So we'll start off with Bandicoot's great game and I'll let her explain it to you. Okay, hey everyone. Uh, for those who know me, I quite often talk rubbish, but today I'm just talking about rubbish and more particularly how you can reduce, reuse and recycle. These are three great ways that you can help reduce waste and protect the environment. How we deal with it affects the world's environment. That's your environment because I'm pretty old. I'm not going to be around on this planet for as long as you are. So your environment, everything around you, the air, the water, the land, plants and the man-made stuff. And you know you, that we need a healthy environment for your own health and happiness. So you can understand why how we deal with rubbish and waste is important to you and everyone. So we have to control the waste that we've got to make sure it doesn't harm the environment or your health. Part of that is... Uh, the garbos, but if we learn about the three R's, reduce, reuse, recycle, and practice them, it uh, will help our environment, but it can also be fun. So let's talk a little bit about some of this stuff. So, oh, that didn't work quite how I wanted it to. Is that working? Can you, uh, are you seeing that? Okay. Just starting to now, Bandicoot. Wow. Okay, that's what I was trying to do. So reduce. Reduce means buy and use less stuff. Only buy what you actually need and use everything you buy. And if you can't use it, try and pass it on to someone who can. And we also want you to make better choices when you buy things. Try to choose products that don't have much packaging or where the packaging can be reused or recycled. So try to avoid single-use products like bottled water, plastic straws and takeaway coffee cups. So the second one is reuse. You can try to reuse things. So you might use a metal straw or your own water bottle instead of a plastic one, or find a new use for something. So you might get some of your old drawings or paintings that you did at school and turn it into wrapping paper. And if you can't use it, try to find someone else who can. So you might donate it to a charity shop or your local area might have a buy nothing group, or you might have a swap night at guides. And recycling, lots of things like cans, bottles, paper, cardboard can be remade in either t the same kind of thing or new products. You'd be amazed at what they can do with recycled products. So you can get plastic bags and you can turn them into jackets and clothing. Or ring pulls from drink cans can be made into wheelchairs for people. So nearly everything can be recycled if we really try it. So we're going to play a game where you have to try and work out how to reduce, reuse and recycle things from around the house. Okay, so this is four pictures and the first picture in every slide is an everyday object that you might have in your house. In this picture it's some laundry powder. You have to work out which of the other three pictures is for reducing, reusing and recycling. So I'll take you through the first one and then we'll have another go. So reduce is the first one. That's the choice that results in less packaging. So picture two is a cardboard box. So it's better than a plastic bucket because it's recyclable. Uh, and it was also break down even if it's not recycled, but plastic, if that goes in the rubbish, takes thousands of years. Reuse. So in that picture, I reused my laundry bucket as uh, to put some fertilizer in from the garden. But I could have also used it to store the laundry powder that's in the box in picture two. And the last one is recycle. And that shows the recycling symbol on the bottom of the plastic bucket. But when I looked at it, only the bucket and not the lid was recyclable in my yellow top bin. So it would still be better for me to buy the cardboard box and prevent the plastic even existing in the first place. So let's try the next picture. It's your turn. I bought some crushed garlic in the jar. So which of these things would reduce the packaging? So uh, you can write down or type in the number that you think, think is got less packaging. All right, did you choose number four? So if I buy fresh garlic instead of garlic in a jar, it doesn't have any packaging at all other than a bit of skin around the outside and I can put that in my compost. All right, which one would be reusing the jar? That one's pretty easy. That's right, it's picture number two. Good work, Hanger. 
I can reuse the jar to store my fresh garlic so the smell doesn't stink out the whole fridge. And the last one, obviously, is recycled. So the jar can be washed out and recycled in my yellow top bin, but the lid isn't really recyclable, so that will end up in the landfill. All right, so we try another one. So this is some nice ice cream in that picture, number one, some ice cream that I had at home. I quite like ice cream. So I want you to write down or type in which picture would be reduce? Which one is reducing the packaging that we're using? I'm not going to tell you the answer just yet. So which one would be reduce? Which number picture would be reuse? And which number picture is recycle? So I'll give you a few seconds. Which one's reduce? Which one's reuse? And which one's recycle? I'd want Andy Coop. So, no, picture number three, that's reduced because that's cardboard packaging instead of plastic. So, uh, number four is reusing because I'm reusing that as my little mini compost bin and then I can take it out and feed it to my worms. And number two is recycle. So, both those packets, the cardboard one and the plastic one, were recyclable and they could go in my yellow top bin. So, I'll try one more. The first picture is me buying my carrots at the shop. So one of these pictures shows a way that I could reduce the amount of plastic. Um, one shows me reusing a plastic bag and one is about recycling. So which one is which? I think this one's pretty easy. Most of you would know that. Picture four, if I take my reusable bags to the shop, I don't need to buy the pre-packaged carrots or use the plastic bag. Uh, picture three, I had an empty plastic bag so I could use it to restore some of my other um, fruit and veg. I've got a lemon tree, so I used it to collect some of the lemons from the backyard. And picture two is the recycle, and you can see the recycle symbol on that bag there, but it says, uh, return to store and that's because you can't put plastic bags in your yellow top bin at home uh, and if you do that they have to throw the whole lot into the rubbish but you can take it back to the store and lots of stores here's one at my local supermarket have uh, places where you can recycle soft plastic so you can see on that one you can put uh, biscuit packets and lolly packets shopping bags bread bags all sorts of things so you can collect them up and take them back to your local supermarket. There's a lot of lolly packets for my house. <laughs> All right, uh, this one is a little bit tricky because I couldn't think of a reuse. So two of the photos are re recycling. So the first one is my bottle of oil, but one is reduce and two of them are recycle. All right, well done those who guessed picture two is reduced. That's a metal tin and it holds a lot more than the plastic bottle, so uh, there's less packaging. Uh, I thought afterwards that I could have used that as a um, to pop some plants in, but it went in the recycling. So number three and number four are both recyclable. You can, I put a red circle because it was pretty hard to see, even when I put my glasses on, the recycle symbol on the bottom of that plastic bottle. But the tin had a really clear recycling symbol, so I knew that could go into my yellow top bin. So, did you like that game? I did, some, some feedback would be good, so we know, because this is the first time I've tried to share something like this from... Uh, Zoom, so it'd be interesting to see if it was good and it worked or if it was super boring. You're allowed to say that as long as you're polite about it. So, next, we're going to play a game called Kim's Game. Uh, you might have played Kim's Game at Guides before, but did you know that it came from a book? The writer Rudyard Kipling, who is the person who also wrote the Jungle Book, wrote a book uh, more than a hundred years ago. It was called Kim. And in the book, the hero Kim plays the game because he's training to be a spy. So it tests your memory 
and how good you are at observing things and looking at things, as well as what you know about recycling. So first of all, I will show you a picture, and there's 13 different things in the picture. Some of them can be recycled in your yellow top bin, some can be recycled other ways, and some aren't recyclable at all, and they'll end up in landfill. The trick is you have to look at the 13 objects and then try to remember them. You're not allowed to write them down. You've got to try and remember them, and I'll show you the picture for a little while, and then I'll show you another picture where four of the things have been taken away. You have to try and remember, you can do it in chat or you can just write it down at home, which four things have been taken away. And then if you'd like an extra challenge, you can try and say, of the four things that have been taken away, which two can go in your yellow top bin, which one could be recycled another way, and which one will go to landfill. Mm -hmm. All right, so shall we give it a try? Let's go, Bandicoot. We'll see how it goes. Um, so you can type your answers in the chat if you like, but it might be a bit tricky trying to type and work out the missing things at the same time. So you can just play along at home if you want. So here we go. You get about 25 seconds of the 13 objects. Okay. If my PowerPoint works properly. Great photos, Bandicoot. We had a fun afternoon, uh, Kanga. Look at all the things that you could find around your house. Okay, I've got to concentrate. Not time for chatting. You've got to remember those 13 things. All right, so here's the next picture. Four of them have been taken away. What are the four things that are missing? And can you name which two could go in the yellow top bin? Which one could be recycled another way? And which one will go to landfill? Oh, goodness, Bandicoot. I can see where they were missing. Oh, what? well, here's, here's the answer. So did you yeah. guess I got two. the four things that I took away? Well done, Kanga. <laughs> so the four things that were taken away were the milk carton and the glass jar. They could both go in your recycling bin. Yep. The toothbrush, that can't go in your recycling bin at home. But lots of dentists and sometimes schools have places where you can recycle toothbrushes, floss containers, toothpaste tubes. And the container that the bacon came in is not recyclable and it will go into landfill. So I think it's time for my husband to become vegetarian so that we don't have any landfill packets. So well done those who got all four items. Don't worry if you didn't, we're going to have a couple more games and you'll get better as we go along. And I will show you the 13 picture uh, item picture every time just so that you get another chance to remember them. So here we go again. Right. Take a good look and try and remember them all. Alrighty. Looking, looking, remembering, looking. Okay. Look. Oh, so four things are missing there. Two that could go in the recycling bin, one that can be recycled another way, and one that goes to landfill. There you go. Did you guess that the ice cream container and the aluminium can can go into the yellow top bin? Now the battery, that can't go into your bin at home and you shouldn't even put it in the garbage bin because there's lots of chemicals inside batteries. But sometimes shopping centres, libraries, other places that your local council has, they have uh, bins where you can recycle batteries. And the thong is not recyclable, but it's rubber, so it should break down eventually, but it will go in the rubbish if it's broken. So now we're going to have a third game. Okay, now, this time, this time I'm going to show you the pictures for a shorter time, so it's getting harder as we go along now. You ready? Okay. Light bulb, sock. Got it. All right. Oh, 
Alright, what are the four things that have disappeared? I think Kanga's got it this time. You're trying to trick us too, Bandicoot. I didn't move any of them. They're in the same oh. spots. Mm. Oh, you did. You used the milk carton again. I did. So <laughs> the, milk, the milk carton and the egg carton are both recyclable. Now, yep. the light bulb, same thing. It can't go in your home recycling bin, but you can usually find a recycling bin at the same place as the battery recycling. Um, if you're not sure where it is, if you have a look on your local council on their website, they will tell you where they are. And you already knew the bacon packet was going into landfill. Mm. So this is the last one. I'm going to really challenge you this time by making the times even shorter. Don't worry if you can't get them all. You can have another try if you watch the video back later when it's on the guide's website. So here we go. I think it's going to be the bread wrapper this time and maybe the sock. I'm concentrating on. Okay. Oh, okay. Which ones are gone? Wasn't the bread wrapper, Kanga? It wasn't. But the sock, did I win the sock? <laughs> the <laughs> sock is definitely not there. <laughs> All right, the recyclables were the aluminium can and the jar. The socks can't go in your recycling bin, but there is a group called Man Rags, and they will take old socks and some old clothes and they turn them into new socks. That's wow. something I've been meaning to do with my guide unit because they will even send you something so you can post back your socks. I think they might want you to wash them first. I don't think they want your smelly sports socks. And you already knew that the thong was rubbish if it's broken or you can't find the other one. So I hope you had some fun and learned a little bit more about recycling and what to do even before items end up in the recycling bin. Now Kanga is going to do an activity so we can say thank you to the workers who do all the work once the bins go out at the curb on bin day. If we follow the recycling rules, we'll make their lives a lot easier and make the world a better place. Now that we're, oh, there we go, that's the button I'm looking for. Stop sharing. That was an excellent game. I don't know about you guys, but I got about, I think three was my best. So I have to learn to be a little bit more observant. I'm not sure that I could be a spy, but at least I'm on the starting road to be a spy. And what a great game. And well done, Bandicoot, for taking all those photos. No wonder it took you all afternoon. <laughs> we'll have to make sure that we use that game again. So now that we know what can go into our um, bin, we, as Bandicoot said, we want to try and put as less um, number of items in that bin as we can, but there's still some things that we need to be picked up. Now my garbage collection day is a Friday, so I always have to remember to wheel my bin down um, to my verge on a Friday. And I know lots of you would have a different day of the week that mum, dad, or your big brother, or even your might be your job to take the bin out. So we've heard there's been so many people that's helped us through these uneasy times during the virus. Some we hear a lot about, and that's okay. And some we don't hear quite as much about. And we thought that we would um, just say hello to maybe one that we don't hear much from. So for the next five or so minutes, we thought we would ask you to, um, using your piece of paper and your texters and your pens that you've brought today, if you'd like to do a bit of a poster, a thank you letter, or a thank you note that we can then stick onto our rubbish bin on garbage day, to thank all those that come and pick it up for us um, not just now, but um, all the time. So uh, if you guys want to make a start on that, I have got a few little fun facts that I thought that I could share with you while you're busy doing your, um, your poster, but it also might give me the chance to say hello to some of you. Now, I know I'll try and say hello to as many as you can, but you know the rule is that it's a big big hello from Kanga and Bandicoot if we don't get to say hello to you all. I do need to be a little bit selfish and say hello to Kira because Kira comes from my unit in W 
So hello, Kira. I'm not sure that you've come before, but it's nice to have you. Lillian, I think you've been with us for quite a, a number of weeks. I know your name pops up. Yes, Bree, it is poster time now. So if you want to take a couple of minutes and to start to do your poster, you might want to put a reduce, reuse and recycle message that Bandicoot went through. You might want to put on some spring flowers or I'm sure you guys have got lots more ideas than I have. I can see Bandicoot's busy getting her textures ready. Oh, she's got three or four in her hand, so it'll be interesting to see what she comes up with. Emma, hello. Ella, I know you've been coming a long time, so welcome um, Ella back. Um, Sophia, I think you've popped in a couple of times. I've seen your name before. Oh, was it Tuesday today? Oh, Kanga's got the wrong day, has she? Doesn't matter that you don't have any paper, Lillian. You can do it a little bit later. That's okay. Stella says hi. Emma says hi. Yes, certainly you can write. That's a great idea. Thank you, Rubbish Collector. That's a good, good way of starting. Hi, Ruth. Hi, Meg. I think you've been on a couple of meetings. Meg, I've seen your name a couple of times. Holly. Mandy. Oh, sorry, Sophie. You must be using Mum's iPad, is it? I think we had that problem last time. Thank you, Trash Truck. That's a nice one, Ava. Kira, you can do whatever you like on the poster. I know you can. You do some great work at Double View. And Piper's with us today. Emma's with us. Goodness. And Bree's given us some suggestions. We can write some lovely pos positive messages or even just a simple thank you. Hi, Georgia, Sage, Zoe. Hi, Terry. Goodness, I think I've got you all actually working. Don't see too many highs. That's excellent, girls. Now, I know Bandicoot gave you lots and lots of fun facts, but I thought I would join in too. This one I quite like, so we really do have to work on this one. The average Australian family produces enough rubbish to fill a three-bedroom house each year. Goodness me, well, I think we could do way better than that, don't you? A three-bedroom, imagine your room being full of rubbish. Ugh. Don't think so. Um, now, we know that plastic straws are the worst when it comes to plastic waste. We really can't recycle them and they become a real pain when they come into the, the waterways in our oceans. So we've got two great straws here. They're called our lips. So you don't really need straws when you drink because we've already been made with pre-straws pre already, haven't we? Now, this one's a bit strange, and you might want to think about what you can do at school about this one. I found this one a little bit, bit different. Schools are responsible for producing a large amount of waste each year. Lots of rubbish comes from all the paperwork, um, the, the canteen and other school activities. I wonder if that's something that we could look at at Guides and seeing if we could do, do a little bit of a school project and look at how we do our waste and our rubbish, but maybe your school, you can tell me if your school is doing something um, to help cut down the waste that your school uses. Maybe you don't have straws in your canteen or maybe you have to bring a reusable lunch box. So you can tell me if your school has already started to look after the waste and not produce as much. Oh, and homeschool, well, you have to either learn how to keep it at home, don't you? Yeah. The other thing that is really, really frightening, every year we buy one billion plastic bottles. Goodness me. And worldwide, people buy one million plastic bottles every minute. Goodness me, we certainly don't need all those, do we? And as um, Bandicoot said earlier, that rubbish is really, really expensive to, to, to get rid of. So the less that we have in our bin, the easier it is for our garbage um, 
collectors. So how are we going, girls? Give you a couple more minutes. I can still, Bandicoot's still busy doing hers. Oh, and Violet's telling us at her school they pick up rubbish. That's excellent. Yes, Ren, way too many plastic bottles. I know it with guides, we all bring our own water bottle to guides, don't we? So we've started doing the right thing. Oh, Sage does a Waste Tuesday. Hmm, that's interesting. Yep, Lily never buys plastic bottles. Yeah, Brie, Bandicoot's busy doing her drawing. That's why she's muted. So we'll, she'll check in with us when she's finished that amazing drawing. Stella picks up the bread tags. Well done. Do you do something with them, Stella? Oh, my goodness. There it is. It, so I'll just describe So. Bandy Up's got a thank you with a recent, with her yellow bin on the front. And it says, from Buzzy Bees Girl Guides. Well done, great rubbish bin. I did, I did copy the one that was on the slide. <laughs> Excellent job, Bandy. And what day will you be putting that on your bin? Oh, well, it was actually our bin day this morning, so I might have to wait till next week. But it would be good um, to also have some photos if. Uh, girls do put them on their bins to take a photo uh, because we can put it onto our Facebook page or the Bin Isolation Facebook page or email them to the councils. So if you can't post them to Kanga at uh, Guides WA, oh, please hold it up again. Sorry, okay. whoever that was. There we go. I don't know how well you can actually see that from there but it basically just says thanks on it from Bayswater Buzzy Bee Girl Guides. Cool. You guys do lots and lots of stuff at your school, so it's already already starting. Uh, rubbish day for Lillian, Lillian is Mondays. Um, yeah. yeah, that's a good idea. You could get mum or dad to uh, take a picture and uh, put it on uh, to Facebook to send it to guides that way. Yep. And all our email information can just be found on the website. So my, all the great staff that work here at Guidehouse will make sure that our Bandicoot and I get it. So that'll be great. Uh, Hillary's primary school Georgina goes to. Um, so they do some good stuff there. Kira's rubbish day is Monday. Uh, Sophia's like mine and her rubbish day is a Friday. Oh, Violet, you've got to get a bit of a wriggle on if your rubbish day is tomorrow. You've got to have a, hopefully you've got a little bit of time after our meeting if you don't quite get your poster finished. But as with everything at Guides, guys, if you need a little bit more time, you can always do it after. Um, you now know what we're doing and why we're doing it. Got a rubbish day on Wednesday. And if your rubbish day is tomorrow or this week when it's like sort of very wet, windy weather, it's not good days for um, trying to put a poster on your bin. You could do it next week. You could still send us a picture next week and we can send them all in to the council because I think that uh, garbage collectors probably don't get a lot of people saying thank you. They often come early in the morning or when people are in bed asleep or at work. So. I think they would really appreciate all your wonderful thank you notes and posters. And yes, Ren, Ren is right. You can find out your, someone in your family will know which day is bin day. So hopefully that's given you guys a little bit more, a bit of time. But I don't know about you, Bandicoot, but the meeting has zoomed past today. Yeah, maybe that's why they call it Zoom, Kanga. <laughs> we, we've only really got 10 minutes left. So we'll give you a couple more minutes to finish that off, guys. And then I thought we might have a bit of a game of virtual boggle. So I've made up some boggle squares and I thought in a minute, when you've packed away and finished off the last of your, um, your posters, and again, if you don't have time, Finish it off maybe after school tomorrow or after a little bit before you go to bed tonight if you've got nothing else planned. Um, and then we can have a little bit of a quick game to finish. 
um, before we finish our meeting. We certainly are zooming through it, Bandicoot. Boggle's going to uh, test me making up words. Is that what Boggle is? Yes, so there's one, two, three, four. So there's 16 letters, Bandicoot. You can make as many words as you can using three letters, four letters. So we'll give everyone a bit of a chance to finish off. <laughs> Your brother raves to the bin truck. How gorgeous, Kira. So Kira, have you missed me? Come on, I know you have. You can write it in the message. <laughs> <laughs> I'll miss seeing everyone's name pop up when we when we can go back to face-to-face -to -face guiding, Kanga. I really, in, uh, Bandicoot, I really enjoyed these meetings. Maybe we'll have to just keep doing these every now and then, Kanga, just for special occasions. Yeah, I was a bit nervous the first one because I really didn't know what it was going to be. But like good guides, we challenged ourselves, didn't we? And now we just, now yeah, we're just getting on with it. Oh, you're like a, um, you'll be running Zoom tutorials soon. This is your third or fourth one. Yeah. I reckon I might try and go and play school girls. What do you reckon? <laughs> you think kangaroo in my guide uniform would make a good host to play school? We can sing, we can dance, we can do some craft. Oh, uh, no. I'm not sure about the dancing, Kanga. I don't know if the girls saw the video of us dancing, but um, I'm not sure I'm putting dancing on my resume. Okay, girls. Well, that's enough chat between Bandicoot and I. <laughs> so we've got a couple more minutes before our meeting finishes today. So if you want to pop your poster over to the side, and we would really, really love to see some of the, the posters that you've made. As Bandicoot said, if it's not today or the next day, we've got a week or so, don't, don't stress, we'll take them any time. So, Kanga's virtual boggle. So as I was explaining to Bandicoot, there's 16 letters and we will give you one minute to write down as many words as you can find out of those letters. So if I hold it up, I'll give you a quick uh, one to start with, so I can find law, L-A-W. Okay, so I'll hold it up, we'll give you one minute, um, and then at the end of the one minute, we'll ask you to write you the words that you find in your chat. So if you just keep keep the words, either write them down or keep them on, on the front of your mind, and in a minute, we'll ask you to write them down. How are you going, Bandicoot? Have you found a couple of words? Oh, well, there's one that's, um, one that's jumping out at me. Okay, well, you keep holding on to that until I ask for them. Okay, but, girls, you've got 30 seconds. You've got 20 seconds. Kanga can't count. You've got 10 seconds. Okay, and go. Bandicoot, what's your word? Oh, well, that was a really easy one because Thor is written straight across uh, on the second line. So, oh, T H A W. Yeah. Going to thaw out your potatoes for tea. Okay, <laughs> girls, what one have we got? Poor, saw, prank. Wow, that was a good one. Yes, Thor, Basil. Well done. Hannah had Basil. Maybe Basil. Maybe she's having spaghetti prank sit. Basil saw lay play same. Goodness. Oh, law wet nan and what? Goodness. Raw raw the law. Oh, I like that one, Meg. That's very cool. Law pig. Oh yeah. Well done. Bye prank. Excellent girls. Okay, we'll go to number two. All right, now you've got the hang of it. Okay, I'll try and put it up nice and high so you can all see. Same rules, one minute and then you can start typing. I'm not going to give you any hints on this one, but I've seen a good one that you might see in the sky on a lovely windy day. Can you all see that? Okay, 30 seconds, 20 seconds, 10 seconds. Okay, Bandicoot, what's your word? 
Oh, well, when you said uh, about something that you might see on the sky on a windy day, I was thinking Wizard of Oz. So I came up with Wicked, as in oh, a Wicked not, Witch. Not quite, K I T. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, Cloud. Oh, Stella, that's a lovely one. Wind. Someone else had Wicked too. And oh, Social. That Ooh, was pretty. Um, that's pretty good. That's scold. better than I could do. And a scold, that's an old-fashioned word, isn't it? Oh, and scandal? Social? Goodness me. Sock. Oh, like Bandicoot's blue and stripy sock. Oh, Lillian got Lillian. Well done. Cat, that sounds like me, Violet. Cool. All right, I think we might have time for one more. One more before we say goodbye. Okay, oh, we might use the big one. I like this one. Okay, guys, you know the rules by now. I'll give you a minute. Oh, can I find one that I can help? Oh, I think there might be a word that Bandicoot used, what she does with her scraps. Where does her scraps go? She told us in her presentation at the beginning. She keeps her scraps for her, okay, 10. Okay, guys, and Bandicoot, what one do you think it was? Well, when you were talking about scraps, I was trying to get compost, but there weren't enough letters. I got clown. That was my word. Worm. You feed your scraps to your worm. Yeah, I, I got that eventually. <laughs> Okay, girls. Recycle? How? Oh, wasn't oh. that clever? Well yeah, that done. is clever. Oh, pet, yeah, pet. And PET is what we use in recycling, isn't it? That's right. Yeah. Oh, meow, petrol, someone had petrol, and yule, and fowl. There's some good words coming out here. You guys are way better at this game than Gibbetty <laughs> Peter? Oh, that's a nice one. We even got some recycling words. How clever are we, Bandicoot? We are, yeah. They're, um, I think those young active brains have um, got the edge on us there, Kanga. Yeah, they certainly got it all. Apple? Excellent. Cool. Well, that, that worked well. I like our virtual boggle, Bandicoot. We might have to think about that one if we have to, if we're back again. Yeah, that's good. Well, guys, that meeting went very, very quickly today. I hope it did for you guys as well. Thank you, Bandicoot, for an amazing presentation at the beginning and that Kim's game. I certainly do have to sharpen up on uh, looking and what's going missing. Thanks, guys, for doing your poster for your garbage or the uh, collectors. Um, as we said, if you can pop it on your bin, that would be great. If you could send us in a picture or a photo or the um, the, uh, the uh, poster once you finish with it, that would be great too. And we can get it out and show everyone um, and pass on our thanks to the work that they've done during these uneasy times. So that's our 45 minutes done for today. Um, so don't forget we'll have another meeting next Tuesday. And we just close our meeting with our promise. Um, so while you're sitting or standing, we will close our meeting and thanks to everyone. Thanks to Bandicoot. Thanks to um, Ren and Bree who sit behind the scenes and help us uh, with the, the chat. And thanks to Sasha for setting it all up. So one, two, three. I promise that I will do my best to be true to myself, develop my beliefs, to serve my country, uh, my community, and Australia and to live by the guide laws. Well done girls, enjoy your week. Start to recycle, reuse and reduce and we'll talk soon. Have a good one, see ya. Bye. Bye.